are everybody and good welcome to today's 10 minute meditation i have company in the room today I hope to see you. there they go i'm dorothy today and i'm having so much fun they're helping me uh actually practice my animal communication skills and i did very well yesterday i picked up a toy that i saw in my head they would like and they've been having a ball with it so it's kind of fun to have a couple of uh, pets to practice with since uh, I live in an apartment and I don't really have pets here anymore. I miss my dogs. So this is fun. I get to have these guys over the holiday weekend, something to be thankful for. It's Wednesday. So of course we are doing uh, Inner Child Wednesday and then we will go back to the In Such a God themes on the other days. I hope you join us tonight for the Manifestation Show on Empower Me Group Intuitions group page. Let's get started with our meditation. Take a deep breath and just begin to relax. Close your eyes. Relax. And from the top of your body, scanning through your head, your neck, your shoulders, your back, look for any tightness or discomfort and invite your body to relax and let go. When we bring our attention to these spots and invite our body, we notice how powerful our mind is. Mind is the builder. Now let us bring our attention to the top of our head and we will begin with the prayer of protection. As I approach the throne of grace, beauty, and might, I throw about myself the protections found in the thought of the Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Look above you and look below you and notice there is this beautiful stream of energy that flows through you. It provides you everything you need. It is at the divine's connection to our life. The only thing stopping us from receiving are the blocks we put in. This energy will flow into our bodies, into our lives and give us so much and provide so much, but only if we are willing. And sometimes unconsciously, we put up blocks, blocks from our past, blocks from our childhood. Because in that moment when something went wrong, we knew no other way. We were just children or young adults. So let us go into our heart and ask that beautiful divine energy that's running through us from the top of our head right at our feet to expand and get wider and wider so that it encompasses our whole body with a special emphasis on our hearts. Now let us look, there is a path just off to our left, a golden path, a safe path. Let us take this path until it stops us at a situation where there is a block because a younger part of us was hurt or injured or misunderstood. Help that child or that young person to understand what was occurring. Help that child to understand or that young person to understand how much you love them, what, the, what is occurring, how you can heal this and how they can be safe with you. 
they go with tiny me and even hold the person, hold the child or the young person. Hug them if they want to be hugged. Hold their hand, something. You have not already held this younger person, this child. Hold them now close and allow your bodies to meld together and heal, bringing back those pieces of you that were left behind with comfort and security to the younger person, understanding that they belong in the present with you. Opening up and releasing one of the blocks that you had unconsciously put up, stopping from the divine gifts from flowing freely. Take a moment and be very grateful. Feel that warmth. And as we gently bring our consciousness into our present, into our presence, into our fingers and toes, in your mind, lean down and start stitching the energy in, bringing it up the front of your body, twirling your hands in front of you, up to the top of your head. And now let's lean down behind you and moving your hands, stitch the energy in and up your back, over your head to your third eye, rising your energy, putting up comfortable shield. And as we fully pull in, we close with the 23rd Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. 
He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I did not want to get out of that meditation. I'm actually going to jump back in there because that was just so comforting. I look forward to you guys joining me tonight for the manifestation class. I promise you, we are going into detail. And I am going to commit to doing a live reminder three times a day for 30 days to keep us on track with our manifestations so that what you create tonight, you have in 30 days and you understand the power, especially you meditators. You guys are going to nail it because you understand how easy it is to get into that quiet space and create. Have a blessed day. See you this evening. Love you all. Bye now.